evening to all. This evening, I'm here again at Paris Hill, St. Joseph, by the murals, which were done originally by residents in the area, and the finishing touch was done by Christopher R. L. Chandler. Walking down towards the St. George Valley. You can see the beautiful cane fields here. Uh, opposite, this is the cane field opposite Andrews Factory. This road really back down to Andrews Sugar Factory, the now defunct Andrews Factory, which closed down in 2013 under the last government. It was closed to so reopen as a multi purpose factory. But that plan did not work out, so the factory is now just there with a highway fence surrounding it to keep away trespassers. A detail about the parasol project by Christopher R. L. Chandler and plastered by W.D. Blanche and Company and the list of sponsors down below. These are all the animals here. So again, I'm in the parish of St. Joseph, which is the smallest parish to the east of the island. And it is also a part of the Scotland district. I'm in the Scotland district at the moment. St. Andrew and St. Joseph were the two parishes best referred to as the Scotland district. I forgot to mention that St. Joseph was carved out of the parish of St. Andrew back in the 1600s. So St. Andrew is much is bigger than St. Joseph. St. Joseph is also my mother's birth parish, the parish in which my mother was born away. My mother, one of my aunts and two uncles, were born and raised here in St. Joseph. So this will lead back to the parish of St. George with Sweet Bottom Street Hill area, Groves, and then Market Hill. And this will take you back to Branchbury, St. Joseph, where my mother is from, and Coffee Gully. And it will take you back to the Grantley Adams Secondary School, which was once the best St. Joseph comprehensive, comprehensive school, uh, secondary school. And it will lead you back to Bathsheba, which is on the east coast in St. Joseph. And it will lead you back to Horse Hill, which is also in St. Joseph, which will be leading you to Bathsheba. Horse Hill is immediately after you pass the Grand Adams School, heading, to, heading down to Bathsheba. Then you will come across Horse Hill. Horse Hill was once a very steep hill. Years ago, it used to give vehicles who were lit to get up when they were coming from Bathsheba or anywhere down in the east coast, on the east coast. And coming up hard, so they used to give vehicles all licks to get up. But thanks to Major Barcover, she was a member of Parliament for St. Joseph back in the late 80s and early 90s. She got the East, she got her hill level into a relatively flat road that is not flat, but a road that people could park, cars could get up easily, or buses. Her hill is real steeper than this hill. St. Andrew and St. Joseph are the parishes known for hills in Barbados. Paintings here on the walls. I'm going through to Paris Hill. This way to lead you back to St. Anne's Church and School. Where the St. Anne's um, Church is. My mother went to school. My mother went to school at St. Anne's. My mother went to school at St. Anne's Primary School which closed down in 1985. St. Anne's School was through here. And these are all the murals here on the walls. All the murals here. And these are the back Paris Hill, Airy Hill, Lamin, Sugar Hill, and St. Anne's Church. All the animals here. Let's 
Yes. Back at the paintings here. Back at the murals. These paintings on the way to Bashiba or anywhere on the east coast. So these paintings here are advertising for mostly things in St. Joseph. Mostly things in St. Joseph is what is being advertised on these murals. I wouldn't go all up by St. Anne's this evening because of time. But another day when I have more time, I will go up there and do a video as I always do when they come in this area. But if I go up there, I will not be getting from up there, not until sometime tonight. Get up from here. Because the buses running up in here isn't so good. All the murals here depicting Bathsheba. And Panda Supermarket at St. Elizabeth. Our forest is in St. Joseph in Richmond. St. Joseph is also known as the Garden Parish. In St. Joseph, we will come across Hans Garden, which is just around the corner from here at Chamber Razor. When you pass Banch Dairy, where my mother is from, when you go around that corner, you will come across Hans Gardens, which is run by Mr. Anthony Hunt, which was once Castle Grant Plantation. That is now Hunt's Botanical Gardens. Uh, and uh, in that area, you will also come across the um, And you come across the Andromeda Botanical Gardens as well, which is down Bathsheba. Andromeda Gardens, another botanical garden situated down Bathsheba, which is founded by the late Iris Banoki. And you will come across. Um, Flower Forest, which is our Richmond, that's to the other side of St. Joseph, mostly towards the St. Thomas side. Yes, the St. Joseph, the Garden Parish in Barbados, St. Joseph. So, thanks for watching now. Do have a blessed evening. Before I close, another this is depicting Bathsheba on the rugged east coast.
and this is depicting this is our hotel for Panda Supermarket at St. Elizabeth Village, St. Joseph. ZT surfboard is the latest addition to the painting on this wall here. ZT surfboard is done at Bathsheba in St. Joseph. Thanks for watching now and do have a blessed and a wonderful evening.